Green. We'll be right back. First, Craig with what's coming up next. Good morning, guys. Yes, on location in Black Forest here with Jason Miller. He is Black Forest Strong, a fire victim losing his home. Him and his wife lost everything, but he is a local singer-songwriter, a favorite of the show, and we're going to hear more from him and their experience coming up in just a little bit. Hang on. Thanks so much. Among the ashes of rubble of Black Forest, those who call it home continue showing resolution as the rebuilding process begins. This week, Craig Coffey catching up with one resident, sharing his story and just a little bit more. Good morning, Craig. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks a lot. Yes, we are here. Uh, pretty emotional morning right now going on with Jason Miller uh, on his property in Black Forest. You have five acres out here. Five acres. Um, and your home, as we can see right behind us, which is so tough to look at, I'm sure a lot uh, worse for you to yeah. uh, experience what you've gone through right now uh, you and your wife losing your home but you've found out that so many people have come together and to help each other mm -hmm. through this process right yeah yeah, yeah. it's been a, a wonderful lesson in humanity for me i mean i i couldn't even keep up with the outpouring yeah and you, you and your wife said you're going to rebuild yep and you uh when the home was here you used to have a lot of parties here, a lot of music, oh, yeah. you said, celebrations. Yeah. So what's the party going to be like when you rebuild and let everyone back in? Yeah, well, it's funny you, you ask that question because we've already talked about that. Okay. I think we're pretty much going to warn the whole street. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, Just, uh, okay. <laughs> Just going to permit and be, block it all off. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> yes. I can imagine. Okay, what are some things you've learned from this experience? Uh, I've learned uh, in, in, the, in the most strangest way to be even more unselfish. Yeah. You know, that uh, even though I'm in this situation, there's still so many people that are worse off than, than me. And mm -hmm. so I want to spend some time out here giving to other people because I've just got so much. When you finally came back in, were allowed to come to the property, what are the first thoughts that went through your mind? How did it happen? Yeah, you know, uh, that was pretty emotional for us. We just stood and cried and uh, just wondered how quickly, you know. And we always knew out here, you know, I mean, it was a possibility. But right. to, uh, to lay your eyes on it and the, the path of destruction, my goodness. What are some things you found that, that um, survived the, the fire and in the rubble? Well, uh, yeah, Mother Mary, St. Francis, uh, a lot of my wife's. Uh, trinkets that we kind of made a shrine in the backyard about, you know, yeah. like uh, some believe signs, some ornamental iron things that made it, but that was about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you might hear it now through, the, through some of the sounds of people already working this morning with the, the drills and the oh, saws, yeah. uh, the trucks coming through. The music continues right here, yeah? It will, always. Always. <laughs> okay, we're going to hear some of that sound. And by the way, speaking of music, you actually, uh, you're still performing. Yes. And you're still working strong, and you're going to open up for a sleep at the wheel. That's right. Coming up at Stargazers, right? Stargazers Theater on August 7th, and we're really, really excited about that. That's with the band, right? Yeah, the whole band. Okay, J. Miller Band. The website, by the way, is jmillerband.com. Yes. So go online and uh, check him out. We're going to hear him coming up in just a little while. You do not want to miss. Back to you guys in studio. Good morning once again on location in Black Forest. This is a very talented local singer-songwriter, Jason Miller. On the way, we're going to hear the last song ever written on his property here in Black Forest. You see behind us the destruction right now that so many have faced. He continues to, to build and move on. He is Black Forest Strong. More with Jason Miller coming up next. Thank you. Many say the woods throughout Black Forest are mysterious, magical, but if anything, inspirational. They are beautiful, too, and this holds true for one resident, fire victim, and singer-songwriter Jason Miller. This morning, Craig Coffey joining this Southern Colorado favorite on what's left of his property with a little bit of the sound and verse that was created before the ash. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Thanks a lot. Yes, we're here in Black Forest. Uh, man, I tell you what, it's been a pretty emotional morning right now, just kind of reflecting on what uh, transpired here just uh, last month with the Black Forest fire. Uh, you can see behind us right now, we're here on the property of Jason Miller, local singer, songwriter. He's been on the show several times and nothing left right now. And But you continue to have such a, a positive, upbeat attitude. Yeah. With your approach to all this. Yeah. yeah. Do you find that's therapeutic and that helps you get through it? Yeah. Well, my wife and I, my wife Allison and I have been helping each other, I think, you know, picking each other up when we get low and, you know, just trying to remember what's important. And is that advice you would give to others in the same situation? Yeah. And any catastrophe for sure, you just okay. lean on each other. Do you think 
what more is there I could I could do? I mean, oh, it's, it's out of your hands, right? Yeah, the biggest thing was why didn't we get that? Why didn't we get this? Why, you know, we had a little time. Why didn't we get more? That was the biggest thing. Okay, uh, his website is jmillerband.com. Go online, check it out. But right now we're going to hear Jason, and this is the last song you ever wrote on your property. When was yeah, that? Yeah, finished it just about three days before the fire. Wow. Yeah. Okay. About Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. I'm loving it. It just gets better. Okay. Check it out. This is Jason Miller. She was brand spanking new. She was red, white, and blue. Had a gas tank with graphics and a number one plate that ruled. My old man said, take her for a spin, but don't you go too far. Next thing I knew, he was chasing me down in the car. I got level on the pedal, laid the rubber on the street, felt the wind in my hair, and what it meant to be free, flying like evil Knievel, the jumping snake river for the people, and I double dog dare you to follow me. I hightailed it home through the trees, pulled up to the garden hose and got her clean, and sat down for supper and thanked my parents for giving it to me. And early up the next morning, I rode a trail to a jump I'd seen. And one thing led to another, and I was skying over that ravine. And I got level on the pedal, laid the rubber on the street, felt the wind in my to be free, flying like evil Knievel, a jumping snake a river for the people, and I double dog dare you to follow me. You know, I had one of those bikes growing up, the evil Knievel bike. Very nice. Jason Miller, Black Forest Strong, here on his property in Black Forest. Him and his wife losing their home in the Black Forest fire. You know, we're here with the, the sunshine now and the, a couple of birds you hear chirping, the sound of a saw, the plane overhead. And this is all that's left right now. But they are rebuilding. And I'll tell you what, that party, when you rebuild, we're going to invite the entire city <laughs> to come over, okay? Yes. Okay. Me. There you go. JMillerBand.com is the website. That's it for now in Black Forest. Back to you guys in studio. Thank you, Jason.